Welcome back to Kittens and Crochet YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this bee baby security blanket. You will need Red Heart Super Saver or equivalent, petal pink yarn for the flowers, yellow yarn for the bee and the trim, black yarn for the stripe, white yarn for the wings and the blanket. You also need Cotton Fair Fine 2 yarn, black colored for the eyes and the mouth. And you'll put a little bit of pink in the cheeks. You'll also need a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. You will need scissors, a marker, a yarn needle, pins, and some washable stuffing. So let's go ahead and get started. To start the body, we're gonna take the yellow yarn and make a magic circle with six stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. If you need a video on how to make one of these, I will leave a link in the description. For row two, we're going to put two single crochet in each of the stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. Okay, for row three, we're gonna put two single crochets in the first three stitches. So, two in this first, two in the second, and two in this third. And now we're gonna put one single crochet in the next three. So one, two, and three. Now we're just gonna repeat, putting two single crochet in the next three stitches. So two in this first, two in the second, and two in the third, which leaves us with three stitches left. So just put one single crochet in each of these. That's the end of row three and you should have 18 stitches around. For row four, we're gonna put two single crochets in the first five stitches. So two in this first, two in this second, two in the third, two in the fourth, and two in the fifth. So now we're gonna do one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four. And now we're gonna repeat. So in the next five stitches, put two single crochets. 
So two in the first, two in the second, two in the third, two in the fourth, and two in the fifth. And that leaves us with four stitches left, so just put one single crochet in each of these stitches. And that's the end of row four, and you should now have 28 stitches around. So row five is just one row even, so one single crochet in each of the 28 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. And that's the end of row 5. For row 6, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch, and then two single crochets in the next stitch, and we're going to repeat that all the way around. So one single crochet in the first, two single crochets in the second and then repeat one in the first two in the second one in the first and two in the second one in the first and two in the second one in the first and two in the second One in the first, two in the second, one in the first, two in the second, one in the first, two in the second, one in the first, two in the second. One in the first, two in the second, one in the first, two in the second, one in the first, two in the second, one in the first, two in the second. One in the first, and two in this last stitch. And that's the end of row six, and you should now have 42 stitches around. So the next six rows, rows seven through 12, is just gonna be working one row even. So one single crochet in each of the 42 stitches around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. And that is the end of row 7. And this is row 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. And that's the end of row 8. And this is row 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. And that's the end of row 9. And this is row 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, and forty-two. And that is the end of row 10, and this is row 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. Thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, and forty-two. And that's the end of row eleven, and this is row twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, 
36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. And that is the end of row 12. Row 13 is going to be one single crochet in the first stitch and then crochet two together. So one in the first and then single crochet two together. There will be a link in the description if you need to see how to do this more closely. So we're just going to repeat this all the way around. One in the first and then two together. One in the first and then crochet two together. One in the first and then two together. One in the first and then two together. One in the first and two together. One in the first and two together. One in the first and then two together. One in the first and 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 then crochet these last two together. That's the end of row 13 and you now have 28 stitches around. Row 14 is going to be one row even, so one single crochet in each of the 28 stitches that you have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. And that is the end of row 14. Row 15 is going to be using invisible decreases and we're going to do two together five times. So in case you don't know an invisible decrease, you're just working in the front loops. So just work in the front loops and we're going to crochet two together five times. That's one, two, three, four.
and five. Now we're going to do one single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to repeat. We're going to do two together five times, invisible decreases. So in the front loops only. So one, two, three, four, and five. And now you should only have four stitches left and it's going to be one single crochet in each of these. So one, two, three, and four. And that's the end of row 15 and you now only have 18 stitches around. Okay, now that we're done with row 15, we're going to add some stuffing. So get your washable stuffing. And place it in your B. You want to try to keep the oval shape. Okay, so now we got some stuffing in there. We're going to go ahead and move on to row 16. Row 16 is going to be using invisible decreases again. We're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then we're going to crochet two together. So you got to make sure you don't pull stuffing through now. So we'll do one in the first. Now we're going to invisible decrease two together. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. One in the first. And two together. One in the first. Two together. One in the first. And two together. One in the first. And two together. One in the first, and then these last two together. And 
and that's the end of her 16 and you'll now have 12 stitches around so we're gonna go ahead and add more stuffing Okay, now we got one row left, that's row 17. So in the back loops only, so this whole time we've been working in the front loops when we do invisible decreases. So in the front, or in the, uh, we've been working in the front loops, we're gonna work in the back loops. We're gonna do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two together, all in the back loops. So just make sure you don't pull yarn through. Do one in the first. And then two together. one in the first and two together one in the first And two together. One in the first. And these last two together. So now you can go ahead and cut it free, pull it through, and this is your last chance, kind of check it over, make sure it's stuffed how you like it. If you need to shove a little bit more in there, you can, but I'm satisfied with mine, so I'm not going to add any more. Okay, so now we're going to take a yarn needle. And we're just going to weave this hole closed. So just go in and out of the remaining stitches here, trying not to pull any stuffing out. and pull it together and then you can just go by go to a nearby stitch and knot off on it and then you can take the yarn tail through the body and snip it free. Okay, so here is the body of your bee. So we'll go ahead and set this aside for now. And we're gonna go ahead and make the stripe. So I'm using black. Go ahead and leave yourself a long starting yarn tail. 
and make a slip knot. And now we're going to chain 31. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 28, 29, 30, and 31. Now in the second chain from your hook, go in and make a single crochet. So one, and then make a single crochet in the remaining stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, so now we're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work over and we're just going to single crochet in all 30 of the stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30. So now go ahead and cut yourself a long yarn tail and pull it through. And here is your stripe. So you can go ahead and set that aside for now. And we'll move on to making the wings. So for this, I'm using white. And we're gonna make a magic circle with six stitches. So 
one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to do two single crochets in each of the stitches around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. That's the end of row two. Row three is going to be one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets into the second. So one in the first, two in the second, and then just repeat this all the way around. One and two. One and two. One and two. One and two. One, and two. That's the end of row three, and you now have 18 stitches around. Row four is going to be one single crochet in the first two stitches, and then two single crochets into the third. So one in the first, one in the second, and two into the third. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So one, one, and two, one, one, and two, one, one, and two, one, one, and two, one, one, and two. And that is the end of row four. So now go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch and cut yourself a decent length yarn tail. Go ahead and pull that through. And there is one of your wings. So you can set that aside. Now we'll go ahead and move on to the second wing. Peanut! Peanut butter! Peanut! Okay. So we're going to start with a magic circle with six stitches. Six and now we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch around. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. For row three, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two into the second. So one in the first and two into the second. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around. So one in the first, two in the second, one in the first, two in the second, one in the first, two in the second. One in the first, two in the second, one in the first, and two into the second. And that's the end of row three, and you now have 18 stitches around. Row four is going to be one single crochet in the first two stitches, and then two single crochets in the next. So one in the first, one in the second, and then two into the third. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So one, one, and then two, 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 one, one, and then two into this last stitch. And that's the end of row, tw row four, and you now have 24 stitches around. Go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch and cut yourself a decent length yarn tail and go ahead and pull it through and then go ahead and set that aside okay so now we're going to move on to the flower so go ahead and take your yellow yarn and make a magic circle with six stitch six stitches so one two three four five and six and now you're going to put two single crochets in each stitch around so one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so now go ahead into the next stitch and you're going to slip stitch. And then cut your yarn free and pull that through. Okay, so now get your pink yarn, make a slip knot. Okay, so go in right before your slip stitch. Go in and make a single crochet. And then go into your slip stitch, which will be tight.
and do two single crochets. Okay, so now in the next stitch, go in and then you can take your yellow yarn tail and just lay it on the stitch. That way you can just crochet it in. We're going to do one single crochet. In the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochets. So we're just going to keep repeating this all the way around. So one single crochet in the first and two single crochets into the second. One in the first. And two into the second. One in the first, and two into the second, one in the first, and two into this last stitch. Okay, so this yarn tail that we crocheted in, just get it out of your way, you can snip it short, toss it over. Okay, so in that first single crochet you made, I don't know why this isn't focusing too good. Let's see if I... Okay, so in this first single crochet that you made, you're going to go in And slip stitch. Now you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then you're going to double crochet into the same stitch. Now in the next stitch, go ahead and slip stitch. Or, I'm sorry. In the next stitch, you're going to half double crochet. Now, in the same stitch that you have double crocheted, slip stitch. In the next stitch, do a half double crochet. In the next stitch, two double crochets. So one and two. In the next stitch, one half double crochet. In that same stitch, slip stitch. In the next stitch, place one half double crochet. In the next stitch, two double crochet. One, two. In the next stitch, a half double crochet. In that same stitch, slip stitch. In the next stitch, a half double crochet. In the next stitch, two double crochet. One, two. In the next stitch, a half double crochet. And in that same stitch, slip stitch. In the next stitch, a half double crochet. In the next stitch, two double crochets. One and two. In the next stitch, a half double crochet. In that same stitch, slip stitch. The next stitch, a half double crochet. In the next stitch, two double crochets. One and two. In the next stitch, a half double crochet. 
in the same stitch, slip stitch. Okay, you have one stitch left, place a half double crochet in it. And then at the top of the chain three, go ahead and slip stitch. And then cut yourself a long yarn tail. And pull it through. And here's your flower. So you can go ahead and make as many as these as you would like to put on your blanket. All right, once you have all the flowers made for your blanket, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the stinger. So make a magic circle with four stitches. So there's one, two, three, and four. Okay, now we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch and two into the second stitch. So, it's probably going to get squeaky because it's tight. So, one in the first. Two into the second. One into the first, and then two into your last stitch. Okay, so you're going to have to roll your work so that the starting, the center yarn tail is inside. Okay, so now go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch. And then cut yourself a decent length yarn tail for attaching. Pull it through and set it aside. Here is your little stinger. Now that you got all the parts made, let's go ahead and move on to the blanket in part two.